Hello again! We are back. Last episode we just finished backwards. And now we're gonna try and get to the fan that I saw last episode. Up on a plateau somewhere. I think I have an idea about how to get to it, but we gotta do some running. So that one up in the hands, that's one of the gold puzzles that we can't do yet. But, I think we'll be able to do them soon. Perhaps this episode or next, even. Most likely next episode, or maybe the one after it. Now, I might, I might go in order of the world, I'm thinking. So there's the fan we're trying to get to. I think I might be able to jump down from up there. We might be able to survive that, because I've, I've seen... The way the, the full distance stuff works is a bit inconsistent. I think some places you're scripted to, to die no matter where you fall from, how high, because like it's out of bounds considered. Whereas other places you can just fall an unlimited distance and not get hurt. Alright, let's see here. I'm guessing that fan might help us get the, uh, the flame that's up there. That'd be my guess anyway. Or it might be related to the Prometheus spark, which we also need to find. Actually, this could be a smaller fall here. Okay, that works. Didn't want to have to reset just in case. What puzzle is this one? That's two. Okay. Here we are. Let's look around here just in case. Maybe I should have stayed up there in case there's a Prometheus spark. So it's somewhere in that direction, I think. Yeah, let's take a peek around in case there's a Prometheus spark. So we can get back here easily. Oh, yep, here it is. Found it! Is it going to make us take the fan? I hope so. That'd be nice convenient. Yep. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> okay, so the fan just takes us here. It's unrelated to the flame, apparently. This is a fun one. Was there a fan down there? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what happened just there. Maybe there was a hidden fan or something. Or maybe to it's just create, for this. To understand and to transform. These are the greatest acts of humankind. Maybe it was just a secret just for this Prometheus spark, a leap of faith sort of thing. Interesting. Well, now we just need the other star, and we need to figure out how to get the flame. Actually, let's. How high does this go? Can we jump on top of the flame, I wonder? Let's go all the way up here. See where it gets us. Also, is it in the log? Prometheus, to create, understand, and to transform. These are the greatest acts of humankind. Okay. Oh, we have social media as well. A warning. I've tried to remain silent on the development of our city to allow the younger generations to find their own path, but I feel that now I must intervene. We have reached a dangerous inflection point. This farcical reactionary belief in the goal of limiting our growth will lead directly to the creation of a class society. The foundations already exist. Do you think the leaders of the various pseudo-secret societies that lobby for influence with the mayor are subject to the same power cuts as the rest of you? Do you think the mayor has to worry about how much power he uses? Societies which have essentially no resources may be egalitarian in some sense. A society that produces insufficient resources, energy in our case, 
will inevitably evolve into a class society. History assures us of that. The true failure of our ancestors was not their impact on the ecosystem, which was epiphenomenal, but their failure to overcome primitive forms of resource distribution, allowing their fate to be determined by the interests of isolated elite groups. We are not avoiding the mistake, but creating the conditions for its repetition. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That seems pretty accurate to me. I agree with Binaroya. Jeremy says, I assure you that no one is exempt from our power management and distribution plan. We're all in this together. Yes, I totally believe that. Could be sarcasm or... Oh, well, probably is sarcasm. I've always respected your scholarship, Inoria. I will take this seriously and think about it. Nova says, some people have to lead and others have to follow. That's only natural. And of course, there should be advantages to being a leader to encourage people. Uh, no, there really should not. <laughs> That's exactly the opposite of how you want things to be. Because uh, otherwise, you know, power-hungry people with in even more incentives to get power is not a good way for a system to work. Our options are Benanoia is right. This is a feature we must avoid. We can grow while avoiding the mistakes of the past. We could disagree with Benanoia as an analyst, but he is right that limiting growth will lead to an unjust society. A class society is forming, but to fight it we must reject all authority. Opus is correct. Wow, this is uh, anarchistic, maybe. Uh, I don't know necessarily if authority is the problem. Like, authority is just one way of, you know, helping coordinate things. We could say Oba is correct, maybe this isn't a bad thing. I don't think class society is forming. Society without growth will be equal in balance. If class society is forming, we can stop that without embracing growth or technology. Also different options here for different ideologies, I suppose. I'm gonna agree with Ben and Roya. Thank you, 1K. It is encouraging to see that the value of freedom has not entire has not been entirely forgotten in New Jerusalem. A society without resources is an unfree society, and only with freedom can civilization truly thrive. Yep, that seems to be what Athena was doing, at least, with all the power generation and such. Mayor Hermanubis. I'm sorry, I know Mayor Herman worked hard and helped pull the city out of a period of crisis, but this isn't the future we deserve. None of us. We all deserve better. Yeah, we should have listened to Byron. I always told myself all those public debates were boring. Who wants to get involved in city affairs? And lately I've been thinking, yeah, that's why there's so much stuff I'm unhappy about, because we all collectively gave up trying. Yes, this is a very important message to keep in mind, especially for the real world. Maybe things can finally change. You have no idea how badly I need something new to happen. We have the potential to imagine a better world, and if we can imagine it, then we can make it happen. You're all delusional. Nothing will ever get better. You're only saying that because you've never known a world where things get better. You think the tiny silver sliver of history you've experienced is, is all there is, because that's all Mayor Herman has ever allowed you to see. But there is so much more. This is not the place for personal attacks on the mayor, thread closed. Uh... I don't think that's a personal attack on the mayor at all. <laughs> There's no personal attacks here. Like, they're not complaining that, oh, Mayor Herman's color is gross. Pick a better color, Mayor Herman. That's not- There's <laughs> nothing like that in this thread. Uh, yeah, not a fan of Jeremy. All right. Burdened by Alcatraz. These statues remind me of Atlas, or the celestial spheres on his back. They seem burdened, struggling with the weight of the world. Given what we've heard the founders say about the goal, could it be that they're meant to send a message that taking on the theory of everything would also be a burden we may not be able to bear? Well, I suppose that's one interpretation. A rather pessimistic interpretation, though. The future. I mean, because it's a pessimistic interpretation because we've seen what the technology can do. Like, clearly, it wouldn't be that much of a burden, really. It would be a burden more in the uh, deciding what to do since, not necessarily actually doing it since. The Future by Melville. I've noticed that the Noima system is full of ideas for space travel and colonization. Designs for launch pads and ships, sketches of cities, even an unfinished design for large-scale teleportation between distant planets. An interstellar or even galactic civilization of the kind writers like Ian Banks imagined is entirely possible if we want it. Ian Banks? Hmm. Which leads me to another thought. These bodies we have are so carefully designed to look like our ancestors. But they don't really have to be. Exactly my point! I've been saying that the whole game! <laughs> 
In his novels, Banks has intelligent minds like ourselves controlling entire ships, or drones, or even stations. If Alexander Drennan was right, then it's not our shapes that make us human, and what it means to be human can be expanded if we maintain our creativity and our curiosity with a theory of everything we could transform ourselves as well as the world. Yes, please! Please do it! <laughs> the only question is, can we be trusted to build a society that actually works just for once in our long and stupid bloody history? Is something like the culture actually possible, or is it just a daydream and we'll always end up with another dystopia? Maybe Athena finally found the answer to that question. Yes, that is the ultimate question here. I like Melville. I like Melville a lot. But yeah, it's interesting. Uh, the the fact that all that stuff's an Anoima system already, it, it ties in with what Miranda was doing. So, maybe Miranda and Athena were, were playing this, like, bootstrap the whole machines creating machines thing galactically. It would make sense. Maybe that's ultimately what the choice inside the megastructure will be about. Also, I, I, uh, I was looking at some of the achievements, and I noticed that there's achievements for getting different people elected as mayor, so I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I have been spoiled by the achievements to, to know that there's certain outcomes that can happen with that. Anyway. 8 out of 8, 2 out of 2, can't do that yet, 1 out of 1, and 1 out of 2. So, we're just working on that now. Uh, where was it going? Right, we just finished that. Right, I wanted to get the flame. Hmm. Like, it's over there, right? And we can't- how do we get up there? I don't think there's a way for us to get up here. Or if there is, it's kind of tricky. We, like, mountain goat our way up here? The developer said no. I mean, this is so climbable looking. <laughs> if you're gonna make us just slide down, you have to at least make it not look climbable, but alright. I know it looks prettier and more realistic this way, but it also means not being able to climb it is less realistic. Ah. Yeah, this is the flame that I wasn't sure how we could get. Hmm. Maybe there, maybe there is a way to get up here from this side, perhaps. Because otherwise I have no idea how to get it. Uh, it's not looking likely, to be honest. Seriously, how do we get it? I don't understand. Is there a way to get up there that I don't know about? We can get up there, at least. Uh-oh. Spam the space bar key! Spam it! Spam it! We can do it! Yes! We've done it! How does this help us? Spam the spacebar key! No, let me up, please! Huh. Like, that really seems... If we could break a cube out of a puzzle, then we could do it, maybe. But I don't see the likelihood of that happening anytime soon. Or maybe we could get up through here. This is certainly precarious. Oh, 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 come on. Spam the spacebar key, please. Hmm. Alright, well I silenced my phone at least, so it'll stop bugging us.
Uh, okay, clearly the developers did not intend for us to get here. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I broke the game, guys! What happens if we jump down? Whoa! Okay, I guess that's just when you fall out of bounds, then. Alright. Uh, let's have a look around for the, um... ...for the star that wants a laser. But where do we actually point the laser? That's what I don't understand. We could also see if we could break something out of a puzzle, smuggle a cube out or something. Yeah, so this is the beginning. Well, we can go down here. Oh, no, okay, that's out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, I thought that might be the case. Oh, okay. That's a nice checkpoint. Yeah, no connectors in there. I don't think, anyway. That looks a little bit strange. I'm not sure it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, no connectors in this one. No line of sight in this one. And no connectors. This is the... Uh, this is where we need to go, ultimately. But then what? Do we need to break a connector out of a puzzle or something? And then where do we even aim it at? It's like... I don't see where the destination is here. It's not there, either. It's not like underneath or anything. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do about this? Hmm. Well, first of all, let's just see what- if we can connect to any of these from anywhere in any puzzles. I know I already tried in one puzzle, but... Didn't have much success. We could try again. Um... What else is visible from here? Maybe a puzzle over there? It would have to be quite a high vantage point to be able to see it, though. Yeah, that's, uh, it's not looking promising, to be honest. I don't 
think we can smuggle something out of here. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I, this will at least let me experiment and understand what I'm even trying to do over here. Pretty sure it's not intended, but I'll, I'll take it. Like, first of all, let's connect to that. Uh... Right, that's- that's not a connector. Give me this. Yeah, that just stops there, right? Alright, what, what would we even need to do with this? There's no... ...puzzles that have an eye shot to here, right? I don't get it. What am I missing? I can climb up on this rock. This doesn't really help me, though. What am I supposed to be doing here? Maybe I need to break out a universal activator? That could work. What would I break this stuff out from, though? I think I have an idea. Same puzzle I just did already. That would work, right? Oh, but can I get it? Because it's up on the... I would have to put the boxes back and hope I can replicate whatever I did to get this one out.
Okay, well. Let's just, uh... Let's just restart this so we can get that down. Did I do this initially? I don't remember. Right, I could just take it from there. Okay. No, stay up, please. Okay, good enough. Okay, so that's one out. And let's try this one. Hey, did it. All right. This has to work. It's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure this is not the puzzle they intend me to break stuff out from, but I'm doing it. You're coming with me. Look at that! The symbol appears on the screen! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. Did it. It is not the voice of God that a prophet seeks in the desert, but the silence of man. They had a whole symbol just for that. <laughs> a whole heads-up display symbol. Right, where am I going? I need to go back this way. Because we are done with this area, right? 8 out of 8, 2 out of 2, can't do that yet. 1 out of 1, 2 out of 2, yes, we can go to the tower. No idea- wait. No idea how to get the flame, but... I do want to test what happens if we use the activator on that. Maybe it'll give us a flame somehow. Wait, why did that stop? Oh no, okay, it's still going. It just stopped for a moment, I thought. I don't know what the quickest way back up there is, so bear with me as I just find my way. Wait, how did I not find this yet? No, I had to have found it, right? Yeah, just let me inspect it again for some reason.
here we go. All the way around this mountain for the flame. I don't even know if I'll have line of sight, but I want to try it. Do they have an icon for this, I wonder? Probably not, right? Oh, they do! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> they have a Prometheus icon! Would that actually work, though? I doubt it. Does that mean they have a Sphinx icon as well? Oh, that's just a leaf. Nothing showing up on the, uh, the HUD here. There's no icon for this. I thought I saw the... the icons change here to connect and deselect. Yeah, that's about what I expected. How about I explore this spot? I think that's too far of a jump anyway. How would I get up here? Hold up. What's that? Ooh. Where is this? Oh, how have I how have I not found this yet? I see these beings, these children of a future age, wandering around an island more fantastical than Atlantis itself, looking desperately to find themselves. I reach out to them, but they cannot see me. I speak to them. But I do not know if they can hear me. Am I being punished? Are the gods playing some cruel trick on me? Why can I remember so little? What is this sorrowful voice I hear, whispering such terrible thoughts? I must use what remains of my mind. I must... understand. More self-aware Stratton. Uh, okay, I guess we really were supposed to just hop down to this area, but... Because the Stratton is here, and, only, and obviously the structure's like this, but like... But like... <laughs> what's going on with this? It's just because of my graphic settings? Huh. Well, let's see if this gets us that flame. Yay! It gave us the flame, finally! <laughs> Alright, um... That's the tower, let's just- let's just jump towards there, I suppose. Yeah, that's quite a far fall, and it didn't kill us, so... I didn't find this one yet, apparently. Sometimes new citizens come to me and they want to learn from me. 
my work appears to have created a legend of sorts. In these moments, I understand your situation. I want to teach them, but what they must learn the most is independence of thought. How does one resolve this contradiction? They wish to come along on my journeys, but I do not need a group of fawning acolytes following my every step. A journey truly worth undertaking is really easy. And so, I have begun to think of a much greater challenge. A journey that is almost impossible to the far ends of the world without any mechanized means of transportation. This will be a true act of faith, and they will learn a great deal from it if we survive. Of area around here. Oh, a nice shortcut to the other side. <laughs> Can I actually go down there, I wonder? Well, we'll do that after the tower, because I don't want to reset and lose this. Oh, it looks like we can. Interesting. Why would that be? Well, now you've piqued my curiosity, game. Alright, let's do this first. But it doesn't loop around. Okay, just a little lower spot to look out and see nice stuff, I suppose. We'll check the other side after the tower. Look like stairs. <laughs> ah, I gotta walk all the way back up now. You've never seen that before, huh? A long time ago, the Sphinx asked you about my story. You said that hope may still be found if we are willing to look for it. And you were right. Hope is not gone from the world. Some small part of it still survives. 
But it is not in the flame or in these towers. It lives in the hills and the forests, in the rivers and the seas. You were given a world full of hope, creature of clay. It is yours to protect. Hope is not in nature, it is in people. I just want to find Byron, I'll do my best. Uh... I mean, if we're gonna use the flame to spread nature throughout the universe, then... We'll just do our best. Then remember what I've told you, and do not lose hope. make of these beams? Do they seem safe to you? Nothing is really safe. You could kill yourself with a fork, and I'm sure someone has. But anything can be used safely if you choose to. I see. All right. Let's see if it'll let us go down here or not. That totally looks like you'd walk on it, right? Ooh, so it might- it might just be out of bounds, actually. Only way do I find it out? Yep, yep, it's out of bounds. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. We've done everything here. And on to... I think the last area, right? Before we go back and return to do all the gold puzzles, anyway. Haya Plain, West 3, a high altitude plateau in the island's western mountain range. The surrounding region has often has restricted visibility due to fog. Oh dear. Fog, We're huh? Getting closer. I hope Byron is still okay. Prometheus seemed to think so. Let's hope he's trustworthy. Isn't this a magnificent place? Another remarkable structure. But what can its purpose be? Actually, I can answer this one. In the files 1K downloaded, there's a design for a launch pad for space vehicles. This is about 90% identical. Is it functional? I don't think so. Not if the inside is like the other towers. Wow. Imagine if it worked. Imagine if we could go up there. I mean, the stars, not the top of the tower. Although, that would be cool too. Last one. I'm still sad that we won't see the Sphinx again, because the Sphinx told us that was the last time we would see it. I really like the Sphinx. We might see one more monument here, but that's about it. We won't see the beautiful starry nebula pattern on the Sphinx's body.
Ooh. This must be a triangle puzzle. Yep. Triangle puzzle alternator. Interesting. set this up, I wonder. Because this beam's always gonna be in the way. Unless... No, that's not gonna help, is it? Yeah, it doesn't help. Interesting. I know what they want me to do, I'm just trying to figure out how they want me to do it. And I feel like it's symmetrical so it doesn't matter which way we do it. There we go. Did it! Isn't that elegant? That reminds me of some, uh... Some of the puzzles from... The Grey Soldier and Road to Gehenna and also... I think some of the custom Gehenna maps that I didn't tell us to. Athena and Cornelius called what they were doing the Noema Project. But in one case, vision, they just called it the machine. Because when you strip away all the fancy rhetoric, that's all it is. It's not a source of meaning or purpose. It's just another machine. Uh, it can be both? You know? You don't have to overthink it. Like I do. to the compass, there is nothing out here. I'll explore just in case, because the flames don't show up on the compass, the stratons don't show up on the compass, and, uh, the human artifacts don't show up on the compass. This is reminiscent of one of the first areas. Reminiscent. I've been trouble speaking today. Right, that's where we were. That's apparently puzzle eight. Somewhere in that direction, apparently. Uh, that's the gold puzzle that we can't do yet. I think. There's a question mark off in the distance here. Let's head there.
is this? Oh, that's puzzle one. Okay. Well, we're here. We might as well do it. From within. quite quickly. Alright. We know how to do this one. Actually, this one uh, in the snow area, I, I saw a friend play and they solved it in a much more clever way than I did. <laughs> they didn't use the crossing beams thing. They actually had uh, one of the things like this. They had two different laser clerks going into the same time and then they just took away the one that they did once when they were ready. Yep, yeah, easy. I'm not sure why they put this one this far in the game when the other one was a bit more difficult to figure out. Like, this could have been the tutorial for the other one, really. New interface content available, huh? Is there even a future? Looks like a lot of people are getting excited about how things are going to change, but all I can see is another repetition of the same mistakes. Equicide, hubris, self-destruction. Why would anything be different this time? And our options are, all we can do is give it our best shot. We just need to get it right once, and the cycle will be broken. We have to have hope, even if it's not rational. You're right, I'm beginning to feel we're taking the wrong path after all. Maybe it won't, but so what? Life goes on. Or maybe it won't be, but so what? Let's go on. I guess we can at least try. Byron once told me that hope is something you only find once you start acting instead of only contemplating. Maybe if you just make a start, you'll feel better. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!